Okay, today is leap day, and I am going to use it to reset. I have felt like garbage the past couple weeks. Um, calendar, not even totally up to date. Pretty close, but not totally up to date. So we're going to reset the calendar. Gregory cleaned, like mopped the floors last night, did some dishes, did just a bunch of things last night to kind of help get started on this whole house reset that we desperately need because I've not kept up with anything and it's just kind of gone by the wayside. So he got things started. We're going to get things finished. Tonight is date night and we're going to do a practical date night so that we don't have to feel like we can't do a date night. Um, we're going to clean and then watch a show together, a specific show that we're watching together and discussing. Today, while he's gone, prior to that, my goal is to unload the dishwasher once it's done. That's it. Not reload it, just unload it. <laughs> get my planner set up for next month and get this bad boy switched up for next month. I also need generally to just eat today. I have like a weird mucus situation going on that my husband brought into this house. I blame him. Or at least he's the one that got sick with it first. Um, so I'm going to give everyone some medicine and then I'm going to sit down to work on my planner and then my computer. Okay, I uh, filmed my nine week update and I got my planner updated for March and up to date, like up to today for February. So I can't do my totals or anything until like tonight, but that'll be quick. Next is this bad boy, but first I have a contract to write for a client. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna write that, I'm gonna send that to her, and then I'm gonna get started on my calendar. Calendar and my contract are done and up to date, so that's good. Now I'm gonna go on a search for some disinfecting wipes and see what I've got. Um, someone's also getting ready for a nap, so I'm gonna put these away, get on the carrier, put Azariah for a nap, and let Gabriel watch his nap time show. Good morning. It is nine weeks today. I tried to curl my hair yesterday and it was only partially successful and it's a little frizzy, which I can put an oil in it to make it less frizzy, but like, I'm just not ready for that yet. <laughs> Maybe later today if I get irritated with it. But anyway, the past week has been slightly better than the prior week just exhausted, feeling like garbage in general. I've had the worst diarrhea, which is really random, but I did crave hot and spicy Cheez-Its, which I craved the Tabasco version of that with Azariah like twice. These were really good. They were really, really good. Generally, I feel very pukey. I have yet to puke. Just feel very pukey. I have something in my sinuses Right now, I think that's from Gregory, though, less from pregnancy. It's really irritating because it just feels clogged, like, and it feels like it's clogging up to my ears. My UTI finally resolved. I have mild irritation, I would say, from, like, time to time, but nothing serious anymore, thankfully. So I'm glad that I treated it, even though it was the most confusing directions that I think I've ever gotten from a medical professional, and I've gotten some confusing directions from a medical professional before. I feel like that's just par for the course with modern medicine. Well, Western medicine, I guess I should say. My eyes have gotten kind of dry, and I don't know if that's like a pregnancy thing or if like that's the kind of contacts that I'm using or if it's something else in my eyes or like what's going on. But like with my contact lenses, they've gotten kind of dry, so I've started using a contact lubricant that you like put into your eyes before you like put in your contact lenses. Um to kind of lubricate that so it doesn't like stick to your eyelid, which has been the issue that I've been having. And just in my right eye, not really in my left. Eating is difficult. I want a little bit of everything and not a lot of anything. Usually, generally. Eating too fast, too much, or not enough will make me feel sick. Or like not eating will make me feel sick. I have to eat like the perfect amount, the perfect time. And it has to be the perfect taste that I definitely totally want, or I just can't do it. I've been drinking a lot of water, 
by a lot I mean like 80 ounces on average um, along with my other beverages between like milk or something else um, I have occasionally allowed myself some pop because that's like one of my more favorite things but I've kind of slowed my roll on that um, I haven't really had much coffee if any it just doesn't sound good and I have to want it to drink it so I haven't been drinking much coffee um, occasionally a nice coffee sounds good and that's like it and it's like mint I'm gonna try and get into drinking tea I'm thinking red raspberry leaf with um, my sister suggested a tiny bit of pure maple syrup for like sweetness and then lemon in it and I feel like the lemon would balance with the sweetness like enough to whatever but give it extra flavor um because the like tea that's really acidic like bothers me normally I do honey so I'm sure honey would probably work too um and I have red raspberry leaf tea I'm just anxious about it I'm not a really big tea drinker but I should be drinking more of it so <laughs> I'm gonna try for that one but we'll see right now today I just need to switch out my Stanley because this one's really dirty and get my other Stanley filled with water and start drinking because I'm thirsty but you know you know anyway other things my back has been killing me so that's great yesterday at eight weeks and six days so right at the end of my ninth week we went to get an ultrasound from a friend of mine it was like an elective fun thing and we got to see the baby which was so cool and I have a picture and it was just so cool because it was measuring the baby was measuring nine weeks two days so like three days ahead which was also really cool I mean it won't really matter or mean anything but it was just really cool to see that and then the heart rate was 169 which is about average and yeah, my friend that was doing it for me was telling me a bunch of different things. And she's like, oh, this baby came from your right ovary and, like, all the stuff that I, like, didn't know. So it was very cool. And she's like, I'm sorry, I wish I had more to show you, but I just I can't really do much at this point. And I was like, this is all I wanted. Because always leading up to, like, my 12-week appointment, I get, like, really anxious of, like, like I want to hear a heartbeat or, like, see it. And you can see it on the screen in an ultrasound really well almost every time. Um, when I went in with Azariah at seven weeks, we could see the heartbeat. And um, there was another girl there that was, like, almost six, wait, almost seven weeks. She was, like, six weeks something. Um, and you could see her baby's heartbeat just going, which was so cool. So that has been really... Like, I don't know, it was a really fun, cool experience, and I'm just really thankful that I have a friend that can allow me that, because I feel like it's just a lot lower pressure to be able to go in and do that in, like, a private setting, and then, like, go to my midwife appointment, like, okay, you know, every time that you go in, there's that little bit of anxiety, like, well, what if we don't hear the heartbeat over, like, the monitor, but knowing, okay, there was one at one point in time. You know, I haven't been, like, sitting here waiting for the past 12 weeks, and my baby's just sitting there. I don't know. I'm, I'm wording this poorly, but it just, it helps a lot. And I feel like anyone who's been pregnant or has had, like, miscarriages really understands that. I have not yet. Hopefully, I won't ever, but, I mean, you kind of get that, like, that sense of, like, oh, right? It's, it's just, it makes you a little bit anxious. It was funny, because my husband said, like, the same thing. And he's like, it's always so nice to be able to, like, know. And I was like... I agree with that 100%. That's pretty much the nine week update. Let's view the belly. One thing I did yesterday though, what? I went and I looked through all of his like belly pictures and kind of like matched them up with the week. Generally, I was off by like a week or two or something, but I, with him, I started like seeing the bump really form at like 13 weeks. In the way, kind of like where you can tell like your uterus is coming forward yeah. so I'm interested to see when it happens this time and I probably won't notice it till after the fact but it was just it was cool to look at so this coming month so March so like 10 through 13 weeks my goal is to really get into my prenatal exercises I'm starting dance potentially a play so I'm hoping that will keep me a lot more active and a friend of mine yesterday 
theorized that yesterday was the last really cold, really cold day for the season. We'll see if she's right. I love listening to her guesses because she's been really right this year, which has been cool. So hopefully that's the case and we'll be outside more and I'll be starting my garden this month, but we'll see. That's early for Minnesota. For those of you who are not from Minnesota, March is really early. Normally we can't get things in the ground until like April or May. We'll see how that goes. And yeah, thank you so much for watching my nine week update. We're gonna finish up this leap day video on March 2nd. It's beautiful outside. It's supposed to be like 60 something and if the clouds will clear away, it should be really warm. But I've been working on cleaning up my car and I should have done it before and after because it's crazy difference. But we are in super spring cleaning mode and like getting everything set for spring. It's just fun. So, cleaning out my car. Love, Genevieve.